A brand new trailer for the upcoming movie Creed has just hit the web. Adonis Johnson, played by Michael B. Jordan, never knew his famous father, boxing champion Apollo Creed, who died before Adonis was born. However, boxing is in his blood, so he seeks out Rocky Balboa, played by Sylvester Stallone, and asks the retired champ to be his trainer. Rocky sees much of Apollo in Adonis and agrees to mentor him, even as he battles an opponent deadlier than any in the ring. With Rocky's help, Adonis soon gets a title shot, but whether he has the true heart of a fighter remains to be seen. Mark Byers sell the new trailer for Creed. First of all, Creed should do the music yeah. for the new Creed. song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, should bring, they should get them back together. Like, where's Scott Stapper? Chimney, full of sugar. Oh, yeah. I will not have Creed sully this segment talking about Creed and the amazing trailer that I got to see. Huge thumbs up from Mark Ellis for the new Creed trailer. And I will say, look, I watched the trailer and I had the same reaction I think a lot of people watching it did is that it gave away a lot. And by the end of the trailer, I felt like Apollo's trainer in Rocky IV. Throw the damn towel! We've seen enough! We don't need to see all these little storyline tidbits that the trailer gave us. I think it, it showed us too much. I will say that, but the, but the trailer is selling a movie that I am even more excited to see than I was before, and I was already pretty pumped to see Rocky back on screen. Michael B. Jordan looks amazing as Adonis. He looks like the perfect casting for Apollo's son. This is a huge buy for me. I cannot wait to see this picture. Shep. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. I mean, even though you're right, they gave away the whole movie. Um, this For this specific trailer, I didn't really mind that much. If you look back at the original Rocky trailer, they also kind of gave that whole entire film away because they show him at the end, Adrian, at the very, in the trailer, If unless I'm imagining things. I'm pretty sure they showed him crying and she's like, Rocky or whatever. And then they show Rocky and you're like, I got to see that. So it felt like... A little bit like that felt a little bit like I want to see this movie all the way through. I know it's a it's a guy, you know, starting out from the, you know, the bottom Rocky's helping him and he then he fights and he probably wins. I'm guessing he wins. But as long as Creed is doing the music. I'm not, <laughs> don't worry about <laughs> I'm buying it. I of the tiger. Um, oh no. Look, I I while I liked, I liked and enjoyed the first Creed trailer. Mm -hmm. I was not losing my mind about it like a lot of people were. I'm like, okay, this this looks good. This looks promising. I don't know. I honestly didn't know why everybody's losing their minds over it. This is a trailer I would lose my mind over. I, I see this trailer sold me on the film so hard. First of all, Michael B. Jordan, and a lot of people forget he's the director of this film, was also the same director who directed him in Fruitvale Station. That could have got Michael B. Jordan an Academy Award nomination. Mm -hmm. Maybe it should have got him. It was a really stacked year, though. So it, that was a tough one. But I loved everything about it. I don't feel at all like he gave too much away. Mm. I watched this trailer. I thought it showed me this story is going to be in this movie and this story and this story. And these are the stories that are going to be in this film. And I just, I loved it. I loved, there was something about that shot. When Rocky has talked about all the things that he has lost, and then it's just a quick shot of him in the in the, uh, in the the cemetery, and he's got Ooh, Paulie's yeah. tombstone and oh, his wife's tombstone. God. It's like, oh. there was something that so emotionally, it hit me when I saw that, you know, because I grew up watching those characters right. and seeing actually Rocky go through the progression of his life at this point, and they're finally treating Rocky like an old man, right. uh, which is actually really cool. I love this trailer, just ate it up, so for me, it's a massive buy. Yeah, and I think somebody, I, like, I'm a huge Rocky fan, so I'm going to go see this movie regardless. So this trailer's job wasn't to sell Mark Ellis, and probably right. not you guys either, but it's, I think one of the one of the jobs this trailer had to do was convince everyone else around the world that this is not going to be Rocky getting back into the ring. Mm -hmm. So they have to show, to some degree, Rocky being sick, or Rocky being vulnerable, or Rocky physically not being able to do what he used to be able to do. This is a different box that's going to be getting into the ring. I think the trailer hit that point on the head very, very hard hard and i didn't need to see as much as i did but i still love this trailer now are they going to pull a rocky three where rocky's going to die right before his final big fight i think they're just not showing him come out of the ring and he's all ready to fight at the end that's when the creed music comes in rocky's back and he's, he's like he like they they <laughs> yeah. cheat they cheat and they knock out like maybe after the bell he knees adonis in the groin and goes down and rocky goes yo and he gets yeah. back in the ring yep i want to see force ghost rocky versus force ghost force apollo ghost that's rocky. what this movie that should be, be setting insane. up insane <laughs>